Huku ulimwengu mzima ukiadhimisha siku ya wanawake duniani, wanawake wa maeneo bunge yote ya kaunti ya Kakamega walijumuika kusherehekea pamoja. Wakiunda msafara uliongozwa na nyimbo na densi za kutumbuiza, akina mama walielekea katika uga wa shule ya approved kuliko fanyika sherehe hiyo. Viongozi mbalimbali mbali walihudhuria wakiwemo waziri wa huduma za kijamii Mofat Mandela, waziri wa teknolojia na mawasiliano Rachel Atamba, waziri wa mashamba Penina Mkabane na naibu chancela wa chuo kikuu cha Masinde Muliro Solomon Shibairo. Madaku ya mkutano wa sherehe hiyo ikiwa uvumbuzi na teknolojia kwa usawa wa kijinsia akina mama walihimizwa kutumia simu kama nyenzo ya kujiletea kipato ili kuyasukuma maisha yao This year of celebration is particularly important as the theme compels us to reflect on the centrality of technology in our lives now and it's a rallying call for institutions and indeed the entire world to ensure that technology innovations and applications are to a large extent embraced by women and help impact their lives. Akiangazia maslahi ya mwanamke, Janet Kasili amesema kuwa ameweka mikakati ya kuwarejesha waliopata mimba za mapema shuleni ili wazitimize ndoto zao. The teen mothers na warudisha shuleni and therefore si warudishi shuleni kwa sababu nataka waendelee kuzaa nyumbani si warudishi shuleni kwa sababu nataka waendelee kuzaa mapema warudisha shuleni hao wachache ili waweze kuwa champions wa kunisaidia kuambia wengine kwamba mimba ya mapema ni mbaya huku akiakashifu mapenzi ya jinsi ya moja kasili amewaomba akina mama wawaelekeze wana wao ili wasiwe mashoga na wasagaji kuna jinsi ambao ambalo limetokea wakati huu la LGBTQ mnalijua jambo ambalo wanawavulana wanao wavulana wenzao na wasichana wanao wasichana wenzao Tunajua kwamba sisi kama Wakristo, sisi kama Waafrika it's not acceptable. Therefore let us talk to our youth. Na hili jambo liko kwa youth kabisa. Vice Chancellor, I'm sorry but I'm sure it's happening here at the university. So let us talk to our children tuambie kwamba hizi ni mila ambazo si zetu. Akiutambua umuhimu wa mama katika familia Shibairo ameitaka jamii kumsaidia mwanamke kujinasua kutokana na matatizo ya afya ya kiakili. Kuna something special here. Inaitwa mental health. Watu wengi hawakumbuki angalia asubuhi mama akiamka. Um, watu wote wanaangalia mama. Kuanzia kuona mtoto mkubwa sana. Unajua mtoto mkubwa? Eh wanaangalia mama. Wanauliza chai iko wapi mama? Eh then watoto wale wadogo wanaanza chai, tutaoga vipi, tutakula nini? Watu wanaenda za zingia. Mtu anachoka. Kwa hivyo kuna kitu kinaitwa mental health ya watu. Inakuwa disturb. Watu wengi hawafahamu. Kwa mama wengi wana suffer from mental health. And uh, we want changa in it so that we teach society to help the woman come out of that so this school will be actually one of the ways it will be specialized is in looking into the issue of mental health that affects the women and the society at large vile vile Moses Musundi amewahimiza wanawake kuchukua mikopo kwa riba ya kiwango cha chini kutoka kwa gavana ili kuziendesha biashara zao. Wetu ame launch 12 million microfinance. Bashiere mutie mukura mangonda ako mukope mukorere biashara. Na riba ni ya chini sana. Tunaelewana vizuri. Na ukipata shida tembelea wa chief officer ambao wamejinroduce hapa wanawake wa kaunti ya Kakamega wajumuika ugani ya proof katika eneo bunge la Lurangi ili kuadhimisha siku ya wanawake duniani
viongozi mbali mbali wakiwa wamehudhuria hafla hiyo wameweka mikakati mbali mbali ya kumtuza mwanamke nikiripotia runinga ya county flash jina langu ni Ibtisama Abdalla